Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Xiang, and I'm a research associate from CSSE. And the topic of my presentation today is unleash the value from digital building environments. And I'm going to share some of the lessons we have learned about the digital transformation uh, from the West Cambridge Digital Twin. So uh, the built environment where we all live and work is responsible for more than 40% of the carbon emission. And digitalization is a very important step to tackle this issue along with, with many issues listed here. However, the, the, the digitalization process is very tricky. First of all, the built environment is a typical system of systems, meaning there exist strong interdependencies across different scales. Meanwhile, our sector is, seems quite obsessed with the old-fashioned way. So the West Cambridge Digital Twin Research Facility Project is, uh, is trying to provide us with a test bed uh, on our doorstep, and it aims to find out the best practice to establish a dynamic digital twin for our existing built assets and tackle some of the key challenges in this process. And digital twin features a two-way data flow between the digital representation and the physical counterpart. And it basically follows the what we call DT equation. Based on the prior knowledge, insight are gained from the data helped by semantics, and better decisions can be made with knowledge updated incrementally. And the first component here is the data. So we deploy many IoT sensors, enabling, us, uh, enabling the long-range wide area communication we also deploy the asset registry network, enable uh, collecting feedback from the end users, and we access to existing systems as well. And semantics helps us to make sense of the data. So to enhance the data reusability, we need to make sure that the data from different databases can be understood in a consistent way. So a federated data model is proposed so to consider both uncertainty uncertainty and expressiveness in the real life. And artificial intelligence helps us to uh, make decisions. However, one thing to notice is that the information contained in the, massive informa uh, in the massive data is actually very minimum. So we have three strategies to help us to enhance the computational efficiency and also make best use of the data we have. So this is the first example. So we know that in commercial building, there are usually hundreds or even thousands of sensors. We don't need every data to make a single decision or to drive a single analysis. So what we do is we incorporate this dynamic knowledge into the data model. So we reduce the size of the real-time data to process at a single run. And the second example is about the, uh, it's about the explainable AI. So we, when we try to forecast the energy demand, we use Gaussian uh, mixture, uh, the Gaussian mixture model to cluster the daily energy uh, usage profile. So as you can see in this uh, picture, we can clearly see the pattern of change, uh, change from the pre-COVID, COVID lockdown and after recovery phase. The result is much more straightforward and, and understandable. So digital twin can also be integrated with other technologies to expose and visualize information from the enclosed data environment. So what, so what you see here is we help the maintenance workers to see the asset above the ceiling and also, of course, the relevant sensor readings attached to it. And what is the future? What is the promise of the digital twin? So we are now under a major energy crisis. And we know that the energy performance of an asset usually degrades faster than its operational performance. A radiator may get blockage before it really breaks down. So the digital twin can inform us when and how to take the maintenance action. So it brings benefits to know, uh, not only to the users, to the operators, but to the whole nation. And that is uh, actually what I uh, want to present today. And uh, pl please just contact me if you have any question. And I am keen to work with industry to bring this research to practice. Thank you very much. Thank you.